I know I'm looking a little bit crazy today, but that's because I'm gonna be showing you how to take your eye makeup from this to this, and it's gonna be a super duper easy way to create a smoky eye. So that's why, you know, it's a smoky eye makeup tutorial for beginners. But I feel like smoky eyes are honestly like they're sometimes construed as a very difficult look to achieve, and they can be, but with this technique that I'm about to show you and these little tips and tricks that I have, oh my god, you're gonna be. A smoky eye pro in no time honestly so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video before we get started make sure to subscribe especially if you are a beginner with makeup because um, right now I'm doing like a makeup tutorial for beginners series to really teach you guys you know the basics about makeup and just specific techniques that I have created and I've learned over the years um, just to make makeup fun and easy so yeah definitely if you're a beginner make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on because lots more tutorials for beginners are coming at she assumes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing you want to do right off the bat is pop on a transition shade. So whenever you're creating like a dramatic smoky eye, you always want to work from lightest to darkest. So when we're doing this, we're actually creating like gradual transitions so that it has a nice gradient and it doesn't just look like, you know, you stuck black on your eye or that you have panda eyes or that, you know, you may have gotten punched in the face. So I do recommend using a warm peachy shade for this step and going in really small windshield wiper motions with a tapered blending brush to keep it very precise. And the next step is honestly just to continue building up that transition shade. So for this step, I recommend using a warm medium brown. I personally like warm tones best for the transition shades, especially for a dramatic smoky eye, just because I feel like it's the most flattering on me, but also the most flattering on most people and most skin tones. So for me, I'm using Matte Cosmetics Saddle Eyeshadow, and I'm just taking that on the exact same tapered blending brush from Morphe. This is the M573, and blending it out just like we did before with really slight windshield wiper motion and continuing to blend the product in a circular shape. We're gonna deepen up that crease one more time, this time using a really deep, rich plum. So I like to do this step. I honestly think it's the most important step because this is our main transition from the black to the brown. So this we're gonna apply right below those browns that we've already put down because this, like I just said, is gonna make it very, very seamless, very flawless, and give us that grading effect that we really want. And today I'm using Matte Cosmetics in Bark. I really like this one because of the undertone. I feel like it matches really well with the browns and and the black as well. And I'm blending that out with a Matte Cosmetics 217 blending brush. Okay, this next step is like my little secret weapon for you guys. This is going to make your life so much easier. So what I do when I get to the black part, when we're about to, you know, add on that black, make it really nice and smoky, is I actually take a little pencil like this. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Um, so this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. You can use just a normal coal liner. You can use just like a different Jumbo Eye Pencil. It doesn't really matter, but as long as you have something that looks like this, because what we're gonna do is take this and place it right on to the eyelid, right where that blank spot is, and then blend that out with a nice synthetic brush. So this is the Sigma Buff and Blend E39. Blend that out until you hit the purple. And this is going to make, one, your black eyeshadow stay on all day, all night, wherever you need it. Two, it's gonna make it look a lot blackier and a lot smokier. And once you have that blended out, it's time to add on our black eyeshadow finally. So the basic technique you wanna follow is to apply most of the product, so disperse most of the product near the lash line and then blend upwards towards the crease, towards those other shades that we already have down. You do not want to disperse most of the product into the crease and then blend downwards because that's when it starts to look a little bit like a panda or a little bit like you've gotten punched in the eyes. So that's the basic technique. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just want and be sure to blend it out really nice and evenly. You can use any black eyeshadow, honestly. I personally am using MAC Cosmetics um, Carbon Black, I believe, or Carbon. But another good one is Make a Geek Corrupt if you want something a little bit darker, a little bit more pigmented, but that one does have some fallout, so just be a little bit weary of that. Then at this point, all you wanna do is pop on some lashes and move on to that bottom lash line where we're basically just gonna be repeating the exact same steps. So starting off with the transition shades, you know, um, the warm peach and the warm brown, and I'm using the exact same blending brush that I used on the top, just keeping it very precise, but this is the shade that's gonna go down the lowest. So when you're working on the bottom, you basically just mirror the top so you can see that the warm brown and the warm peach is still visible on the top, so you wanna make it visible on the bottom as well. Then we move on to a smaller brush. This is a pencil brush from Sigma, it's the E30, and this is the one that I use to apply the plummy shade, and then later on, the black. The black you wanna keep very close to the lash line. You don't wanna bring it too far down because that's when it's gonna start to look a little too crazy. So basically you just want 
want the exact same gradient that we have on the top to be mirrored on the bottom. And to kind of complete the smoky eye, I always like to add on some black liner to the waterline. So this is the M Cosmetics Matte Gel Pencil. You guys know this is my favorite liner in the entire world. So I'm taking this and I'm just lining the lower lash line and then also blending that out with the pencil brush that we used before to make sure everything just kind of melts together and then adding on a little coat of mascara to the bottom lashes to finish it off. And there you go. So this is honestly like the easiest smoky eye you could ever create. I'll be real with you guys. I think it takes like five steps to create the entire eye look, which honestly is very good, especially for somewhat of a more advanced eye makeup look, you know what I mean? So I hope this helps you guys out, especially those of you who may have been struggling with smoky eyes or just like didn't know where to start, what to do, what to use, and everything like that. I really do hope this helps you guys. That's kind of like my number one goal with the whole um, makeup tutorial for beginners series that I'm doing right now. And again, like I said, um, comment down below if you have any specific requests for other videos because this was a really highly requested one. So I got you guys. And I do have a giveaway for you guys because Y'all know I'll be slaying these. These are the new oh pfft. <laughs> Gotta lay my edges back down real quick, but um, these are the new Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie Cosmetics, okay. These are the new Kylie Times Key sunglasses, one of the styles, one of my favorite styles, actually out of the whole collection. And I got an extra one for one of you guys to win because y'all know we be slaying with the smoky eyes and with these glasses. Whoo! We're ready. We're ready. We're ready to slay. All you have to do to enter to win this amazing pair of sunnies. I actually really love these, honestly. Um, if you're subscribed to my vlogging channel, if you watch my vlogs, you probably already saw me wearing these, but honestly, I'm obsessed. So I'm really happy that I got you guys an extra one so that we could just rock them together. So what you have to do to win this pair of sunnies from the Kylie and Key collection is make sure you're subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and comment down below. The question of the day is gonna be, what is your favorite, or who is your favorite actress or actress? Actor. So just leave me a comment telling me who your favorite actress or actor is and you will be entered to win So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember you are beautiful and sitting out I love you guys so so much and I will see you next time. Bye Hello Hello Sophie So this is Sophie and this little guy is Presby like Elvis, you know They want to say hi to the fam to the, all the rock stars <laughs>